this is what everything's been building toward. If you've been playing your account for 60 days like I have, you are at the Otherworld Exploration. And this is a whole new area with its own stamina to spend, and we can work toward getting really good rewards. So no matter how powerful your account is, if you've been slacking all season, make sure you end this season strong. You don't need to have a strong account to do that, and I'll show you what you need to do. They did add in this new reward of the Blazing War Horse. This is... Wherever you're placing at the end of the season, you get these scrolls and you get a guaranteed pity of a legendary at 10 scrolls. You use 10 scrolls along with 10 dice and you get a guaranteed legendary. 95% of the server is going to get at least a guaranteed legendary one and then 50% of the server is going to get at least two. Then if you're 51 to 150, you're going to get this war horse, which I don't know anything about. So I'm curious to, uh, to see what's going to happen there. But ending the season strong is going to make it so that we have good resources to come in here in these shops to get even more dice, more heroes, more scrolls, so that when we go into the new season, we're going to have a lot of fun. And it's really quite simple to do. In this new area here, we have 150 stamina. Every single day it resets at reset to 150. You can't get more than 150. It will not recharge, but we do have to be a pay attention to how we spend this 150 a day. So once you clear out the map, it's going to look like this. You're going to have three bosses pop up every hour, three different bosses, and then we'll have three other bosses pop up every hour. So if the bosses that you really can do well against aren't there, wait an hour, come back, log back in, see if they're there, make sure you set up your teams. That's really important right now because we have 15 slots to be able to set up our team. So come in here and have your team set up. I have all my teams on an Excel spreadsheet so I know what I'm using, but now I don't even have to worry about that. I can come in here and set it up like I've done with Erich. I've already done this fight. I set it up with Erich. I've got it saved. So tomorrow and the following days when I log in and find these, find the bosses, fight the bosses, I can load the team and it will load the gear, load the artifacts, load the runes, and it's easy to take them out and fight. To see where you want to spend your 150 points, come over here to the top right, Other World Exploration, and you're going to see that we've got daily quests to do. Do these daily quests. They're 10 stamina each, but they net you 1,200 of the resources that we're all working toward. So do this every day. Come in and fight a domain. Make sure you do an adventure preparation and then do the chaos shadow once. Get that done. And while you're doing that in the next 17 days, you'll complete these out as well. So make sure you're doing up to stage five of fire. I'm only going to do one domain a day unless I run out of time. And I'll explain that in a second. I'll come in here and just do one of these. And then I'll go fight the world bosses to where I can get more points. But if you can't get that many points in the world bosses, Go fight the domain, and I'll show you the point difference in a second. Here, we're going to get this completed out. 17 days is when we get to fight the big, big bad dragon. That's what we're all working toward. Not only are we going to get all these amazing rewards here from getting all the resources, we're going to be able to fight this big old bad dragon. Look at that. Look at all this stuff. This is for end of season so we can do well in this shop. The Alliance is also contributing. Everybody's contributing to this. So make sure your Alliance is pretty active. If you're not in an active Alliance, leave them and get in one. After you do those three daily quests, we're going to have 120 stamina left over. Now, if you have the teams and you have the time, you can come in here and fight these world bosses as many times as you want after they pop back up. Only if you're going to get 7 million or higher on them. If you're going to get 3 million or lower, it's better to go to the domain. Domain stage 5 will give you 500 of these resources. And you got to get to stage 5 anyways because you saw what we got to do in 17 days. Now, if you can get 7 million and you can get 11 million, of course, come in here and fight these. Now, you can only use one team once. It's just like what we did for the 30 days to the 60 days fighting all those bosses. Once we use a hero, they're gone. So it depends on how deep your roster is on how many of these bosses that you can fight. Now you can fight the same boss again after it respawns with another team and keep building up your points, but you're gonna have to see if it makes sense to do that. If you have the roster size to be able to do it. I can fight all six bosses and do relatively well, at least get 7 million. Now, if there's a boss where I can't, which I don't think there is, then of course, like I said, I'm not gonna get 3 million. It's not gonna net me that much. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna start pushing in one of these domains to get up to stage five. That way, when I run that stage five, I get 500 points. Now, what if it's a really busy day and I don't have time to play the game? I don't have time to look in here at these guys. Even though I have my team set up, it'll make it much faster. So make sure you set up those teams. Come in here and save your teams for each of these. 
that will make it extremely faster so you can just jump in here and fight them. But if you really don't have time, you could come in here and just go to stage five of the domain and do it over and over and over and not worry about doing a boss battle. That would still be really effective and you're still gonna get a lot of rewards. It's not gonna be the most effective, but you're gonna use your stamina and then it will reset at your next reset. If you have more time the next day, you can then focus on the bosses. That's really all we have to do here. We've got the bosses to fight with our 150 stamina per day, 30 that we're gonna use on the daily quest. And then we have these domains to come in here and fight them. And the domains are a little different than the flame domains, the frost domains, and the other domains that we've already fight. So I, so I kind of like it. I kind of like how the domains are set up. But again, on stage five, you only get 500 and here, we get 800 if you do 7 million or above. So we definitely want to hit these bosses up as often as we can and make for sure that you come in here and you do your dailies every single day. And I hope your alliance is active because with an active alliance, what we get are these buffs. We get these buffs here that are going to affect the damage that we do on these bosses every single day. And it's going to affect the damage we do on the big boss that opens up in 17 days from now. And with the server-wide participation, we're also going to get this skill. We're going to do additional damage here, and we're going to do additional damage here on the big dragon that we're going to fight. Like everybody will. So make sure you're just using your stamina every single day. Easy to do, right? And again, it doesn't matter how strong your account is. You're still going to do well in here. You're still going to get a lot of rewards, and it's going to make you do well for the end of the season. I can't remember if I covered the center area in the video already, but this is where you come in and do one of those dailies, but don't do more than one. This is 10 stamina, but only nets you 100. Sometimes while you're doing the quest, you'll get a couple more hundred, but it is not worth doing more than one time. One time for that 1200 additional, yes. More than that, do not do it. I don't see a reason to do this. If there is a reason, please let me know down below. So pretty simple, guys. I hope you're having a good time. We're going to have Dritz pop up in like three days from now. I'm going to do a full breakdown on all his moves, how to get him, and uh, videos on, on playing, right? It's going to be fun playing with him and seeing what we got to do to acquire him. I can't wait for that. Let me know your thoughts about all this down below. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you all in a video soon.